Today at work, we audited every single action we've taken since we left Earth with the potato farm. Um, there's been zero deviation from the plan. None. <laughs> Everything was done perfectly. Every list was checked off. The pre-launch crops, they were fine, they matured, and we've been eating those since launch. Um, but now we're having problems with the new ones, and I, I don't know why. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> it's a closed system. I mean, we don't have storms. We don't have infestation or new, new crop disease. I, we're on a sealed spacecraft, and every crop is insulated from the others. I, I mean, the only thing I can think of is that there's just something getting into the nutrient solution, but I, we haven't found any leaks, so. a thousand people on this ship die because I just couldn't figure this out. I can't think like that. <laughs> I can't. I know better. Survival requires hope. That's what they taught us. We just have to be optimistic. We go crazy and die. <laughs> I'm optimistic. This is gonna work out. It'll be fine. We'll figure out what's happening. We'll solve it. I'll solve it and we'll be okay. We're gonna be okay. After work today, I uh, got together with some friends and we had a little funeral for Earth. Well, our time on Earth, I mean. <laughs> One of my friends, Fernanda, she put together this little program for the funeral. She actually printed it on real paper. <laughs> I didn't even know we had actual paper on board. It's kind of nice to, you know, look at something other than screens, <laughs> you know? Anyway, all of us got up and shared something that we'd miss most about Earth and I talked mostly about hiking. <laughs> Ace hike every weekend. I'm from the province of Oregon in Cascadia. So much good hiking there. <laughs> kind of realizing that being trapped on this ship for the next two and a half years might actually make me go insane. <laughs> uh, I just wish there was like, I, I don't know, a horizon skyline, the ocean, something, you know, to look at. Nothing but walls and corridors. Something I didn't realize that I would miss. Anyway, um, one of my other friends, Olivia, she uh, gave us a little pep talk at the end. Reminded us that we're tough women we could deal with a few years of misery just for the benefit of humanity. Um, and she told us that Gigi is going to be awesome, just as awesome as Ursa is, um, you know, maybe even better. <laughs> we should look forward to Gigi and, and our adventures on Gigi and not spend time just thinking about what we would miss. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do just that. Or do I try, I guess? <laughs>